Hello everyone! On today's episode of Tinkering with Terrius, I have a little kit build. Last week I had a really old AliExpress order arrive, and it had three little kits in it. So this week I wanted to take a look at the quickest and easiest of the three to put together. So I believe this is just a blinking light LED kit. All of the instructions are completely in Chinese here. The little PCB here looks straightforward. We got two transistors, 9014s. We have two LEDs, which are kind of marked weird compared to what a normal LED would look like, but they do say LED next to them. Two 470 ohm resistors, two 10K resistors, and two 47 microfarad capacitors. At the bottom here you have the positive and the negative and a middle pin that's not connected to anything. So I believe what I'm going to do is actually bridge two of these pins and then just make it a two pin connector so that I can use the battery bank that I already have. Not a whole lot of components in this little kit which is why I chose it for today. So I think we're going to start with the resistors on this little PCB because they should be the smallest components. So I don't know if anybody's interested, but in the last kit builds I haven't been putting a link to where I actually got the kit from. So I think I'm going to start actually showing you guys. This one was from AliExpress, like I said earlier. Okay, so we have the resistors through their holes. I think that is all of the resistors positioned. So I just used a bit of poster tack to hold the resistors down. Now we're going to solder one leg of each of the resistors and make sure they're in the correct spot and then we'll solder the second leg down. completely misjudged the location of one of those. All of the resistors sitting in place, they're all facing the same direction. They're not! So I accidentally put these ones in backwards compared to these ones. So I'm going to fix that because it will drive me insane if I don't. gold tolerance band is on the right for all of the resistors. Doesn't have to be, I, it's just nice consistency. So now we can make sure that the resistors are pressed in all the way and solder off their other leg. So I'm not using the zoom function on the camera today. I just have it moved close to the circuit board to try and get a similar effect, but hopefully without as much grainy interference on the image. So we have the resistors attached. It's looking like the next smallest component is going to be probably the pins, but I'm not gonna use all three pins. So what I'm actually gonna do just to hold the circuit board steady is I just put a pin over on one side and these pins here so that it can sit flat and so I have a nice big surface to hold it while I'm soldering We're also going to need to bridge this little gap here. So I just have the leg from a resistor. It's kind of attached. So 
so you can see we have a nice little bridge between those two pins now. Negative is this pin and the positive is that pin which will make it easier for hooking up to my battery. Next up we have the transistors. Transistors are more heat sensitive, so you don't want to put too much heat on them for too long. Yeah, okay. So next up we'll do the capacitors and the capacitor has the negative marked on it the board has the negative marked as well and if you look at the back they've marked the positive with squares and the negative with circles Now all we have to do is the LEDs. So with the LEDs, of course, you can tell the short side should be the negative, the short pin, the long pin should be positive. The CR2032 batteries come in super handy for checking LEDs. It tells us the long peg is the plus, short peg is the minus for sure. Oh, those are sitting way out. That's why we soldered one side first. There's the circuit board complete on the bottom. Complete on the top. Now you can see that is the function of this little kit. It's actually really kind of neat. It's interesting that they're using white LEDs. That could get very mesmerizing. And this is the AliExpress listing. Thank you for watching this episode of Tinkering with Terrius. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the section below or email them to me or tweet them to me. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.